Symbiosis Biology Teacher. Hello children, welcome to Symbiosis Biology Teacher. In this video, we are going to see CBSC Class 10 Biology Chapter 6 that is Life Processes. The subtopic which we discuss is Activity 6.2 that is Bell Jar Experiment. So, in this activity that is Bell Jar Experiment, what are the steps which we are going to follow? Let us see. Okay, aim, materials required, procedure, observation and conclusion. Okay, the aim of this activity is to show that carbon dioxide is necessary for plants to perform photosynthesis. So what are the materials required for this activity? In the previous activity you have seen what materials are required for starch test that is water bath, beaker, iodine solution, alcohol or methylated spirit, Bunsen burner, tripod stand, wire gauge, all these materials are required for starch test. Okay, along with that material of starch test, the material required for this activity are two potted plants of same size children and the two bell jars. Okay, to cover that potted plants, two glass plates, potassium hydroxide. Okay, either you can take in crystal form or solution form. Okay, and a small watch glass also. Okay, a watch glass, right? One more I am adding here. Uh, watch glass. If watch glass is not available, you can take small beaker. Small beaker. What for? I'll tell you in the activity. Right, children? Now, let us see the procedure. But before going to procedure, let me draw the diagram related to this. Okay, now these are the two potted plants. Now what we are going to do is, we are going to take two bell jars. Each bell jar you are covering on one potted plant. Okay, so this is potted plant A. This is A. This is B. Okay, now what we have to do is, we have to place potassium hydroxide either crystal form or solution form you have to place it you can take watch glass or small beaker now what we have to do we have to place beside the potted plant so i am placing the potassium hydroxide here okay children so in this I am placing potassium hydroxide solution or crystal whatever it may be. So this is KOH meaning potassium hydroxide. I placed potassium hydroxide solution beside potted plant A whereas there is no potassium hydroxide beside potted plant B. Okay now what we have to do? we have to cover both the potted plants with a bell jar and one more thing children you can see here two glass plates are there what is the use of that glass plates now we will see here so these glass plates we have to place under bell jar okay so this is one glass plate this is one glass plate 
okay just let me shade it and this is another glass plate under this potted plant a right so this is glass plate okay and this is potted plant now we are covering bell jars on both the potted plants okay children right so here bell jar a and bell jar b what is the use of vaseline here vaseline here we placed a glass plate right here also you placed one glass plate two glass plates are there one glass plate under each potted plant and you covered a bell jar between the bell jar and the glass plate there should not be any gap there will be slight gap through that air may enter inside or exit outside so to fill that gap what you are doing you are sealing the base of the bell jar okay with a vaseline so before doing this activity children these two potted plants they were kept in the dark for three to four days the purpose of that is to remove the starch which is already present in it okay after four to five hours then what you have to do is you have to select one leaf from potted plant a and another leaf from potted plant b and you have to send for starch test individually right children now i am calling this as leaf a and this is a leaf b okay so we are going to send this for starch test now you know the procedure for starch test no children right the same procedure okay the tripod stand bunsen burner wire gauge water bath this consists of water in it then placing a beaker which consists of alcohol this beaker consists of alcohol in it okay i am shading this part so this consists of alcohol right now what you have to do is now what you have to do is you have to test leaf a first okay same in the previous activity in the previous video you have seen not the starch test in the same manner what you have to do is you have to boil the leaf in the alcohol first you have to boil leaf a okay leaf a in this alcohol and then you are placing a petri dish you are placing a petri dish and in that you are placing this leaf and you are pouring iodine solution in iodine solution you are dipping this leaf then what happens in the same way you are placing another leaf okay plant b that is leaf b right whether you will find a change or not you will come to know okay you just observe the change change may occur or may not occur but you just observe the change okay so this is a flame i forgot to right after the starch test then the leaf a the leaf a it will be in green color i mean no change okay so this is leaf a in the same manner you find leaf b okay leaf b this leaf b you will find that it changes into bluish black color it changed into bluish black color 
so this change into bluish black color indicates that photosynthesis has taken place in it that means starch is present so this is leaf b leaf b and this is leaf a leaf a no change okay so this is no change whereas leaf b changed to bluish black okay whereas this leaf there is no change why no change in leaf a that means no photosynthesis no starch so starch is not there that's why no change whereas here starch is there so change occurred okay children but you might have guessed what might be the reason here there is no koh here but here there is koh we covered both the bell jars okay bell jar is transparent sunlight is there water is there potted plant okay both potted plants are supplied with sunlight supplied with water and supplied with chlorophyll that means these leaves are green in color that means chlorophyll is there but only one thing is not supplied that is carbon dioxide this plant already it has a little bit of carbon dioxide but this plant whatever the little bit of carbon dioxide is there in the bell jar this KOH has absorbed so no carbon dioxide here ultimately photosynthesis cannot take place here whereas photosynthesis can take place here right children so this is the bell jar experiment for more videos please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for notifications if you like my videos then click on the thumbs up button and uh, share my videos and do comment on my videos thank you very much